And good morning, my name is Maffer. Today I'm going to talk to you about, I'm going to present to you some flashcards about traveling. So the first flashcard that I'm going to present to you is, um, I hope you can see it, it's a getaway. Uh, so when we said getaway, we use it to mean like uh, some sort of vacation into a near place. Um, it's like when we travel, uh, we say getaway, but it's just for uh, places that are near, like a deal or someplace near. So my sentence in this one, it will be, or um, we get away to Pana this weekend. And I have here the example of the image, if you can see it, we have a couple, uh, which is getting away for the weekend. So this is my example, get away. Then I'm going to present the next flashcard, um, which is speed up. What I found for a speed up, it's like to accelerate, to increase the speed or something and do it like faster. Um, an example will be, in what develop a new system to help speed up the tourism, like do it faster. Like we can speed up the tourism, the tourism as soon as possible. And that would be the image that I found for a speed up, which is accelerate something. Now I'm going to present the next flashcard, which is get on. When we're talking about Gurdon is to board or mount something uh, related to a vehicle. But uh, we use get on for not like a car or little ones, it's just for huge ones. Like for example, airplanes, a uh, ship, or like a bus, like in here in my example, is for huge vehicles. So my example will be, uh, she get on the bus to start a new adventure at Tikal. So we use get on for huge vehicles, okay? And I have my example here. Then we have uh, the next one, which is um, get in, which is uh, to board or mount something like a vehicle, but this is like more little, just like a car or like a boat. And I have here my example, which is uh, she get into the boat to cross the river near Coban. And I have my image in here, my example, which is I have a person which is getting into the car to go someplace. And I have my example here. So now, we are going to verify the next one, which is get off. So the meaning for um, it's to, to get off is to leave a place usually in order to start a journey. So my example, it will be, I will get off the boat when we arrive in Rio Dulce. And I have a person in here which is getting off the boat and he is arriving from Rio Dulce and I have an image in here, okay? Now, we're gonna take a look uh, to the next, next one, which is um, checking, which is a procedure where uh, by a hotel guest or airline passenger is registered as having a, a right. So that means when someone comes for any travel in uh, any other country uh, and they go to the hotel to check in to get registered into that place. So that's the meaning for check in. And my example for this one, it will be, we check in at Puerto del Lago, which has one of the best views. And um, I have an image in here which is a person that is uh, checking in the hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna take a look to the next flashcard. Uh, the next one, it's uh, drop off. 
uh, which is take someone to a place and then you live the person in there. So for example, we drop Mary off at the Patin's airport, okay? So that means that we just uh, join the person and then we live the person in that place. And I have an image in here, which is example, that someone drop off him to the airport and they just give her suitcases and all that. So I have drop off here, then the next flash card. Okay, so the next one, it's take off. So when we are talking about takeoff is to leave the ground and fly. But this is like related to an aircraft, okay? Uh, so the example will be, it, the airplane takes off Putin's airport. And I have my image in here with my example, which is we have an airplane, which is uh, you know, she's taking off the airport, okay? So that's the meaning for takeoff. Now, look around, which is to visit the place and look at the things in it. Um, this is something very common here in Guatemala. When we go, for example, to Antigua, we look around into many places. Um, my sentence for this one, it will be, the travelers look around Antigua, Guatemala to find wedding places. And I have my image in here about some girl, which is like looking around some place and she got her map on her hands and she's looking for something. So that's the meaning for look around. And then we're gonna have uh, the next word, which is uh, set off. So set off is to leave a place to go somewhere. So for example, I have he, she set off for the reins. So she was in a place and then she left the place to go somewhere. So she was at her house and then she left it for she can go to the rings. And I have here the image of a person, which is uh, the word set off. Then we're gonna look for see off, which is uh, to, watch, to watch someone live on a trip. For example, I went to the airport uh, to see my mom off, see off. Remember when we use this type of word, see off, there are some uh, verbs that they, you can use like um, pronoun in the middle of them, you can put another word like a name. So for example, here is to see my mom off. So I can use to see Michael off, to see uh, Elsa off. So we can put a name between this just in some, some of, uh, it's not all of them, but it's just a couple of them that you can uh, put some names in between. And I have this uh, image, which is about uh, they are saying goodbye and they just, uh, they see off the person. And then we're gonna have the next one, which is a uh, set out, which is a start uh, a journey. Okay, so, on my example, it says here, we set out on our journey at 5 a.m. to watch the sunrise at Antigua, Guatemala. And I have this person which is just setting, he's uh, set out from, uh, from someplace in the sunrise to watch the sunrise. And I have here the example of this person. Um, so basically, these are my flashcards about uh, travel. I really think that all these uh, flashcards can help us when we travel uh, to many places. Uh, so that was all. And thank you so much for your attention and have a great day.